you are professional students you are welcome to class in this class we want to look at methods of data connection or methods to collect data when you are talking of data data are simply known as raw facts that is data are what are raw facts or, or analyzed facts it is when it is analyzed that it becomes what? It becomes information. And we are talking of information or data. Information gathering can be from a variety of sources. Importantly to say here is that there is no best method for data connection. It depends on what you want to do and the assignment you have at hand. In principle, how data are being collected depends on the researcher's method of research or the phenomena being studied. So, data connection is a crucial aspect in any level of research work. So, if data are inaccurately collected, it will surely impact on the findings of the studies, thereby leading to a false or invaluable outcomes. Now, what is data connection? According to what you are looking at on your screen, data connection is a systematic method of collecting and measuring data gathered from different sources of information in order to provide answers to relevant questions. That is the data. An accurate, an accurate evaluation of data collected can help researchers predict future phenomenon and trend. If you get your proper, or if you get your data properly, if you know exact information you want and you have it at the right time, understand within the right uh, source or from the right source what you want to know will be easier to know you'll be able to predict the future trend or the phenomenon in question now this data can be from two sources namely primary and secondary sources and the source where you get data determine the type of data so the one you get from this primary source we call it primary data and the one you get from secondary source is known as what? Secondary data. Now we are talking of primary data. Primary data are raw what? Are raw data, which is fresh. And these are collected for the first time. It is researcher itself or him or herself that collected this uh, data. We call it first and uh, data. First and data or information so that is a uh, what we buy primary data and we have secondary data as well secondary data are data that are previously collected and tested data are data that people have already worked have already worked on or it's, it's work from some people which you just go there and adapt Hook, line, and sinker. Rasan, you adapt what? Hook, line, and sinker. That is, you make no effort to do any adjustment. You just look at it and you pick it. Those are the secondary data we have. Now, when we are talking of method of data collection, what are the type we have? We have two types, as we spoke earlier, that we have primary data and secondary data. So the system of data collection is based on the type of study being conducted, and depending on the researcher's research plan and design as well. I think you have to note all this. We said the system we want to use in collecting data depends on the researcher's research plan and design, and also it depends on the type of study that is about to be conducted. We have there are different ways which one can use in gathering or collecting data. And the most commonly used methods are what you know as what? Published source or public research source. We have survey, we have interview, we have uh, experiment, we have observation, we have document and record. It depends on the nature of want to do. 
So this method of data is also referred to as secondary data collection. Okay, don't let us put the character before us. Let's start one after the other. The first source of data is what is what we know as literature source. We have literature what? We have literature sources. And this involves the collection of data from already published tests. Already what? Published tests available in the public domain. So literature source can include textbooks, government or private company reports, newspaper, magazines, online published paper, and article. These are source of secondary data. All these, these are source that is secondary government and private company reports, such as uh, financial reports, the, uh, daily thumping, uh, thump print uh, at the gate, all these uh, late coming reports or register, signing register, whatever. That happens to be the company documents. They are part of the secondary data. And we also have online published paper and articles where you can pick whatever you want and do. These are the type of literature source. And literature source is one of what is one of the secondary data collection and it comprises it to primary data. It is inexpensive and not con uh, time consuming. It is what? It is inexpensive. And it is not what? It is not time consuming. Some people had already worked on it. It's just for you to pick and use accordingly. The second type is what we have as what? Survey. Survey is another type of a uh, method of data collection information for research uh, purpose. Information are gathered through questionnaire, mostly based on individual or group experiences regarding a particular phenomenon. This type of source is what we know as what? Is a primary source. Is a primary source of data. And there are several ways by which this information can be connected. Most notable way is through web based questionnaire. It could be paper based questionnaire that is print, uh, printed from, and the result of this uh, method of data, uh, uh, data connection are generally easy to analyze. That is uh, on that. We have another source which we call interview. Interview are qualitative method of data collection whose results are based on intensive engagement with respondents about particular study. Usually interviews are used in order to collect in-depth responses from professionals being interviewed. And we are talking of interview on its own. Interview is an oral exchange. Oral exchange between the interviewer, interviewer and the interviewee in order to elicit, not to elicit needed information. So that's a simple meaning of an interview, it's another exchange. So it, it involves face-to-face -face, uh, contact sometimes, it will also be done through telephone stuff. Understand? So that's the uh, interview. And this interview we are saying, it could be structured. We are talking of modes of interview or types. It could be what? It could be structured. We are talking of structured interview, we are talking of formal interview. It could be formal. It could be semi-structured. Semi-structured. Or 
unstructured unstructured and in essence an interview method of data collection can be conducted through face-to-face -face meeting with interviewees or through telephone that is a interview a side interview remember i said is one of what is one of a primary source of data we have observations as another primary type of a source so observation method of information gathering is used by monitoring participants in specific situations or environments by what by monitoring please note it you monitor the participants in a specific situation and environment at a given time and day basically researcher observe the behavior please note this one it's of it's what it observed the behavior of the surrounding environment or people that are being studied so this study can be controlled natural or participant we have a controlled observations we have natural or participant observation when we are talking of controlled observation controlled observation is when the researchers uses a standardized procedure of observing participants or the environment you know you have control it you don't want to go outside what you have set the standard you have set that is when it is a uh, controlled that is one and natural observation is when participants are being observed in their natural condition so participant observation is when the researcher become part of the group being studied so to tell you that we have three types controlled natural and participants that is three ways two ways you can carry out observation as a way to gather data and this is also type of what is a primary type of data source The next one we have is record and document. Call it record and document. Record and document is the process of examining a 16 document or records. A 16 what? Documents and record of an organization for tracking changes over a period of time. Record can be tracked by examining all logs, emails, or email logs, database, minutes of meetings, staff reports. Or information log and so on and so forth for instance if one want to uh, look at this document of uh, tracking whatever an organization may want to understand why there are a lot of negative reviews and complaints from customers about its products or services in this case the organization will look into record of their product services of, uh, of their product or services and recorded interaction of employees with uh, customers if all these things are are done you will now try to identify laughs and know what really calls certain actions and reactions in the organization and how you can tackle such for you to achieve your expected result that is an uh, on document and record as part of what source of a uh, data and also we have experiment Experiment is another source of data gathering, or information gathering. We are talking about experimental research. This is a kind of research method where the causal relationship between two variables are being examined. The causal what? Relationships. Please, this is all about experiment. You want to know what caused what and what is the effect of that. Understand? So one of the variables will be manipulated. And other is measured. So these two variables are classified as dependent and independent variables. When we are talking of dependent variable, dependent variables, these are the variables which you want to observe the effect of the other variable. The other variables independent variables. So independent variable is a variable that its effect is about to be observed on let me give you an example a sample of this is when we are talking of effect of plant growth 
sorry, if part of sunlight, sunlight on plant growth. That is a kind of a question, a research question that you can use experimental process for. You want to know what sunlight, the first sunlight has on what? On plant growth. How do you do it? Which one is independent variable? Independent variable is sunlight. Sunlight. Sunlight in the sense that it depends on nothing. It depends on what? On nothing. Sunlight is natural. It is the sunlight effect you want to observe on the plant growth. Meaning that plant growth depends on sunlight or direction of sunlight. So this will happen to be dependent. And this is independent. So that is a, what we known as dependent and dependent variables. And in experimental research, data are mostly collected based on the causes and effects of two variables being studied. And this type of research are common among the medical researchers and it is uh, it uses a quantitative research approach. So if you are interested in knowing the, the cost, understand, there is something we call in medical or in sciences, we call it phototropism. Phototropism is a kind of research that is used, or a study experiment that is used to know the effect of sunlight on growth of plants. Anyway, we are not in science uh, class now. I just use as an example. If you want to know that, please Google what for the prophecy means and you know what I'm trying to say. They are professional students. Before we leave this uh, uh, section, let's look at the primary and secondary data in a better perspective. You know, when I was explaining them, I combined everything together and I was telling you which one is primary and secondary. Let me try to be a bit uh, separate in analyzing this type of uh, concept. When I'm talking about primary data, so the primary data will be the data that you gather particularly with the goal of your research uh, venture. So the leverage of primary data is that it is particularly customized to your analysis needs. And the drawback is that it is costly. Remember, when I'm talking of secondary, we said this is not costly, it is not time consum uh, uh, consuming. But primary data is what is costly to get off, and also it is time consuming. And primary data is otherwise known as raw information, as I said. The information gathered from the first source in a controlled or uncontrolled situation. Cases of a controlled domain are uh, experimental study where certain variables have been controlled and analyzed by the analyst. That's a primary source of data. The source of uh, primary data is the populist test from which you gather the information you want. The initial phase in the process is deciding your target populist, that is one. And secondly, if you are looking into attractiveness of another uh, item, you can also try to look for your target populist or target audience. And clearly, it is impractical to get information from everybody as we speak. So you, we need to focus on sample size and the kind of a sample you want to select. The specimen also be arbitrary and also it could be a stratified random sample, which is what frequently sensible. That's uh, the way you can go about primary. And we are talking of secondary source of uh, data. And that secondary data, you can bring the source of secondary data into internal as well as a external source. You no, know, in, in secondary data, 
it could be internal, it could also be what external. So the inner source incorporates data that exists and is stored in your organization, and external data refers to the data that is gathered by other individuals or association from your association's outer environment. A sample of inner data as follows: one, we have statements of profit and loss, we have balance sheets, we have sales figure, we have inventory record, and we have previous market study. These are the examples. And if the secondary data you have gathered from internal source is not sufficient, you can now turn to outside data. Understand outside the source of a data collection, and some of them are. We have universities, data from universities, government source, foundations, media, including telecast, print, and internet. You have trade, business, and expert evaluation. You have corporate violence. You have commercial information, administration, which organization that you find the data from. That is uh, on this data and its source. 